Hey guys, and welcome. My name's NG Paradox, and welcome to the CK2 Game of Thrones mod. Now, this is a series that you guys voted for. It actually came second in the vote that I gave you guys. A lot of people wanted me to do this series, and it's one that I'm pretty excited to try. It's one that I've never actually done properly in our own scenario. So I'm looking forward to this being a long series, seeing what we can do with this. We're playing, of course, as Aegon Targaryen, or otherwise known as Aegon the Conqueror in the future. Now, anyone who knows anything about Game of Thrones, you should know Aegon the Conqueror. He is the man who took his dragons and took Westeros by its horns and dragged it down to kneel in front of him. He was the man who created the Iron Throne. So he's a very, you know, very important man to history. And of course, pretty awesome, you know, formidable fighter. He has probably the great, well, I mean, he's got probably the greatest dragon we've ever known, or at least the biggest and most deadly dragon we've ever heard of. Balerion the Black Dread. As you can see here, he is strong. 113 years old already. He is a monster of a dragon. And of course, his two babies, Vega and uh, Meraxes, who are ridden by my two sisters. But yeah, this is what I'm looking forward to. Now, for this scenario, what we're going to be doing... We're going to be doing something a little bit different with Aegon. We're going to be changing history. We are going to be going east, not west. A lot of people asked me for this on when I asked you guys what series you want me to do next. A lot of people wanted me to try and go east rather than west. Because as we all know, Aegon went west, but he could have gone east if he wanted to. And our plan is to go east, reform the Valerian Empire, maybe take back the lands we once lost, and reclaim those lands that were destroyed. That will be our aim. We'll see how things go. Maybe we'll add more things as we go along. But that's going to be the initial aim. Let's have a look at this. The War of Conquest. It has been a century since the Doom of Valeria, which left House Targaryen as the last bastion of the blood of the dragon. We have strived to expand our holdings ever since, and now we are poised to conquer using the dragons as the ultimate weapon. Rather than relying on our meager manpower, the three cities call upon me to unite them into a new freehold. Westeros and its seven kingdoms, however, seem a greater prize. So all of Westeros shall bend the knee, or I'll establish a new Valerian empire in Essos. We gain the empire of New Valeria. We're going to be going for this today. Something a little bit different. And there we go. Emperor Aegon of New Valeria. We declared ourselves as the new empire, emperor of what used to be the old empire. But we'll make it new again. Now, if any of you are new to my series, what I tend to do in my series, I tend to kind of roleplay slightly based upon my traits. So when events like this pop up, I choose what I think my character would pick, usually around his traits. And... Obviously, this is a game, so we are obviously trying to win the game and expand and become more powerful. But my traits may help me choose how we do that. For example, an honorable man would maybe not choose to assassinate people or to plot too much. So that would be the main idea for my series. I do hope you guys enjoy that. I know people have enjoyed that so far, and so we're going to stick to that because that's how I enjoy playing anyway. So Aegon, of course, is authoritative, brave, cynical, proud, just diligent, ambitious. Very good stats. You can see that is shown by his capabilities right there. Just not very good at learning, but otherwise pretty good overall. Um, we also have the sword Blackfire and of course our formidable fighter as well as strong. You do not want to fi fight Aegon on the battlefield, especially when we have our dragon as I showed you before, Balerion the Black Dread. That's someone you don't want to see. With me I have my two wives. Uh, Visenya, of course, an amazing fighter, formidable fighter there, and she controls Dark Sister. She is a, a force of her own, to be honest. She also controls uh, Vega. 49 for 49, that's pretty good, actually. Then we have my other sister, um, Rainies. Now, she's a bit more attractive. She's not as good at fighting, but she's more of the, uh, the flower of the family. She's attractive, she's a poet. Um, a lot of people say from the histories that maybe Aegon loved her more, he'd spend more time with her, which maybe makes more sense. I mean, out of the two, Visenya, I guess, is kind of tomboyish in some ways. You know, she's very much a, a, a man, 
a woman's man or man's woman? What would it be? I'm not really sure, but she's kind of manly in a way, but she's still attractive in the same usual Valerian sense. And of course, last but not least, we have Ori's Baratheon, my bastard brother. Or so they say. I don't think it's ever actually clarified if that is true, but most people suspect, at least the history books suspect, he was his half-brother. Of course, again, he's definitely not someone you want to get into a fight with. Formidable fighter, strong, and duelist. Do not want to face him one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe we can get him some land as my brother, but yes. So right now, we only have this little bit of land. The Celtigers and the Valerians are our vassals. A Lord Daemon Valerian. Okay, and over here we have Lord Crispian Celtiger with his uh, Crab's Pincer. So ever since the Doom of Valeria, the remnants of the Freehold, the so-called Free Cities, have fought for supremacy. Volantis, one such leftover, offered an alliance to reunite these cities, but I joined her enemies and cast them down lest they grew too powerful. Yes, I remember this. I did that in my own series, actually, where Volantis tried to form New Valeria, but Aegon took them down. They were not the true New Valeria. We are. I would not be equal to those mongrel Volantines. I will forge Valeria anew under my own banner with the fire of our dragon. The Pentoshi shall bend the knee. Maya, the island of Tyrosh, or Bravos. Who do we want to attack first? Now, I would say Pentos is probably the best first choice. It's just across the sea. They have 11,000 men. How about we have a look through? 13,000 men in Bravos. I guess Pentos seems like the best option. Tyrosh has 9,000. And wasn't the other one... Tyrish Armaya, yes. 11 rounds. Okay, I'm going to go for Pentos then. I think we should attack Pentos. They shall bend their knees. Aegon of Nuvalea has declared Emperor Aegon's conquest of Pentos. And here we go. We sh this is where the war begins. So we're going to attack them. Do they have any allies? They do have one ally, Tyrosh. That's probably something I should have probably looked into, actually. Allies would have been something good. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have attacked them then, but it's fine. Now, we just need to make sure that I'm not captured. Successor nomination. Does that mean we're actually an elective? Agnatic, cognatic, elective. Interesting. Maybe because we went for New Valeria instead. Let's nominate that. I'm going to nominate Visenya. She would make a great leader. Visenya could also make a great leader, to be honest. Um, and she is older, so let's go for Visenya. Special things. We need generals, of course. Let's get our generals. We need more commanders. Ori's, of course, she'll be a commander. Uh, Rainey's, of course, as well. She needs to be riding one of the dragons into battle. Um, then we'll go for Crispian. And one more. I guess we'll go for Brian. Hmm, he could also add a little bit to it, but he's only got four. Let's go for Brian, then. Let's make those guys our commanders. I probably could do with a bodyguard. Where's the bodyguard? Um, bodyguards. Probably my brother, I would suspect. Ori's. Is Ori's already a bodyguard? Imperial General. Can I make him a bodyguard? No. Huh, that surprised me. I guess Visenya. You also wouldn't want to mess with Visenya, so Visenya is going to be my bodyguard. There we go. My own sister and wife will protect me. Then we need an ambition. Well, I think we know what we'll choose here. Have a son. We need someone to continue our dynasty's reign. We're going to see how we can change history. How will our family turn out? Will it turn out like the real history of the family? Which at the beginning was not so good, especially with Visenya's son. That was maybe not the best times. And I think we're going to go for war. Yes, definitely. He's definitely going for war, concentration, focus there. And we need some people. Just to see. Okay, you are the best. Always bra Okay, because he's on the council, I guess he can't be... I'm going to make Valerian. Valerian's not doing anything. I want my brother to be my bodyguard. Let's just do that one second. I think that was... Yes, that is why. Perfect. So we now made him the bodyguard. Yeah, I, I think um, Damon Valerian will make a better Archon anyway. And we did General. Always Baratheon would be good at that as well. Will he stay my bodyguard? He still stays the bodyguard. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, Treasurer. Yep, he's the best. Master of Whispers, yep, she's the best. And a Maester, we have no Maester. We better send for one of those. Now, what do I want them to do? Let's improve defenses. Make sure no one takes Dragonstone. Improve relations, fabricate claims. 
Now, do my vassals like me? 100%. Well, 100, I guess. And 100. So we don't need to do that at all. Fabricating a claim, there's no real need. I guess we could fabricate a claim on these guys. Then again, we have Dragon Conquest. Who needs CBs? Who needs a right or a claim when you have a dragon? Yeah, we don't need that. Okay, I guess we'll just go and sow descent in um, Pentos, I guess. I guess that's what we'll do. Actually, I probably want her riding a dragon. That would have made more sense. How about we just do this? There we go. Perfect. <laughs> we'll get to do nothing. She can ride a dragon. My brother, though, can train... Train troops, I guess? Or do I want him to bodyguard me? I know, I'm going to leave you for now. I'm going to leave those two, actually. Though we probably do need troops. I don't think I get event troops. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, collect taxes, I guess, is probably the best thing. Scheme. Make sure no one's trying to kill me. And you can stay there. I guess we could spread our religion. Is the religious stuff here Faith of the Seven? It's Valerian. Okay, perfect. So we're actually all Valerian over here. So we'll leave it like that then. Okay, I'm very happy with that. Let's go send for a maester. Apparently, even though I'm not technically in Westeros, I I guess I am in Westeros, but it seems weird with we to send for one of them. Legitimize always Baratheon. We will not do that just yet. Maybe in the future we might have to if I have no kids. That could be a possibility, but we're not going to do it for now. I need a general, apparently. Why is that? Is it because I made him the master of arms, I guess? Apparently, yes. We're going to make Damon then it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that looks good. Our laws, yep, we're now elective. Realm of is medium. We don't have many troops at all. We're going to use our dragons for our combat, which shouldn't be too hard. If we can just capture the Magister, 54 years old, he's probably not going to lead his troops. We could hopefully win just from that. So let's get our men to go. Let's get, the, obviously, the fleet as well. We also need boats. That's probably all we need, actually. That's a good point. That's all we need right now. Okay, you guys go to there. While they're doing that, we'll get you go pick up these uh, men on this island. The Keltiger's men. And we'll let time pass on, finally. The blood of Valyria happens to us. In command, yes. We better make sure, yeah, we got the people we want in command. So I'm in command. Then we'll have Ori's Baratheon. And we'll have my wife, Visenya. Yes. Dragons and more dragons. Then travel to here. Yeah, I'm just going to travel straight to Pentos. Hopefully capture the leader. What maester did we get? We got Maester Brandon, a Northman. And he's got pretty good learning, actually. He's not too bad. Hmm, maybe we've got a good maester, then. When will you get? The 21st of January. We could just go pick them up, or I could just wait. You know, we'll just wait. It's only three days. All hail is magnificence. Aegon of the House Targaryen. Look at that armor. Emperor of New Valerian, Freehold, Great Archon of the Colonies of Old Valeria, Protector of the Free Cities and All the East, Master of the Rhoyne, and Lord of Old Valeria and Dragonstone. All hail the Emperor. Of course. People will bow down to us, as they should have, as they did in the old days. Valeria will rise up. Yeah, we don't have more troops waiting yet. This is all we have right now. So being able to win this first war is obviously very important because we need to get soldiers. Now, he's still in his lands. And there we go. Tyrosh has entered the fray. So what we need to do is travel there straight away. They're sending men, it looks like, as well. Ooh, looks like they've got men already pouncing onto Pentos to protect it. Yeah, 5,000 men. Now, we have dragons. And I'm hoping dragons can take care of most armies, which I would suspect. But I'm not exactly sure how many men it is in retaliation that would be able to defeat it. But we're going to send our men over here so we can jump off. Not right into the fray just because we have low morale right now. Yeah, when you jump off, you have low morale. And there we go. Perfect. And that's probably asking us to deploy our dragon in the siege. Yes, we could. We're going to go straight for Pentos, though. I'm going to wait. For, I'm going to see if they move. If they take their men by boats. They have enough men to go into the boats. And we've already got men heading to our lands. 
But I'd rather not face them in battle because we need the soldiers that we have. You know, even though we have dragons, if we fight them, we're still going to lose soldiers. And we don't have many soldiers to keep. So it would be nice if we could just, you know, get them to leave. And we just jump on Pentos, attack Pentos, and we're done. But it looks like he's going to stand. Nope, he's been a dum-dum. He's moving. Perfect. <laughs> These foolish free cities. They've forgotten the might. Oh, and he's left. Damn it, he left, he left himself. But that's fine, it's okay. But he's left his capital city alone. They've obviously forgotten the might that the dragons have. Now, he's trying to take this, and he could probably assault it. Which is not good for me, but we're going to deploy our dragon. Your enemies think they are safe on the other side of rock and mortar. Do you, the fools truly believe such petty defenses can hold back your fire? Dracarys. Your Imperial Majesty, the leader is not here, will ask the family along with us. Well, I'm authoritative, proud, just, diligent. I am just. Maybe I'll take them, but I wouldn't be too mean to them. We'll take them for now. Does give us a nice little bit, then, of percentage. 43% right now. And the next one's falling quite well. Having the dragon really does help in these matters. But it's not popping up again. Is that because... Is he injured? He's not injured, thank God. Balerion is fine. Phew Always good to know that he's good. Safe release of the Empress. <gasps> my mother! He has my mother! And my sister. This is bad. I'll pay... I think he'd pay 10 gold for the release of his mother. But yeah. So we've managed to release our mother. Okay. Yeah, I think he'd pay the money to release his mother. But what about my sister? No, they will not ransom her for now. What about the dragon? The dragon and her are safe for now. We need to get them back. Deploy my dragon. It's almost fallen, though. We're going to do it, though. Dracarys. We need to be as quick as possible. A right, 12%. I may just need to go and fight him. That may be what we'll have to just do. 11,000 men against this many men. Okay, he's off to it for 10. There we go. I accept. So we've now got my... Oh, thank God. We got our sister back. So she is safe. So we got everyone back. But they are taking my lands. I'm going to have to be careful. And the Archon. Looks like... Nope, he's still here. And she's still there. So that's fine. Your Imperial Majesty, an enemy host approaches intent on circling the castle. What should we do? We'll be safest here. I'll just fly away. Flies away in his dragon. Okay, that does make sense. Um, but I guess that's for that. But I'm not even there, am I? Yeah, I'm in Pentos. Is this for my family then? Where exactly is she? I don't even know where she technically is. Send my family into hiding. Ah, eh, we'll be safe. We'll just put that for now. So I'm not exactly sure. Because they already took my castle. So I'm not exactly sure which castle... It's kind of talking about. But I've got even more soldiers there now. Oh, Jesus. Deploy my dragon. Dracarys. As long as we have the dragon on our side, nothing can stop us. Nothing. The dragon will destroy all. Defeat, apparently. So we're losing more and more stuff. If we're managing to beat them down at the moment... Let's use a dragon, Dracarys. Now, this is going to be annoying because it does not we can defeat them until we get our stuff back, most likely. Let's have a quick look at this. So, they've got 55%. If we get 55%, that makes a big difference. We're going to try and get Dragonstone back. Yeah. Okay. Get on board. We're getting back on the ship. We're heading straight to Dragonstone. I'm going to take Dragonstone back. We're taking Dragonstone back. Since I'm such a diligent person, I make sure everyone is gets as good as it can be. When it comes to fighting men, I can focus on one or two things. Morale. Let's go for morale then for this battle. And with the dragons, that was particularly easy. There we go. We just destroyed them right there. 
And the enemy is coming in to attack us. Now, we do have low morale because of that battle. And they've got here. But we can deploy my dragon. Dracarys Balerion. Balerion the Black Dread. And look at that. Absolutely demolished. Balerion the Black Dread is an absolute beast. I did not realize he was going to be that good. I've not had many chances to play as Dragon. I did it in a multiplayer series a long time ago in the past. But it's different playing against uh, real people and not AI. We have liberated our capital. We're at 92%. And there we go. Perfect. We are finished. Our enemies were absolutely destroyed. The dragons... I still can't believe 3,000 men and a dragon defeat 11 fans. That's like... That's not f four times. That's not four times as many men, but it's almost four times. And again, they did have to cross across here, so maybe that made a big difference. So we've now taken Pentos. And the Magister Yorko of Pentos is now under me. Narates. So there we go. If we look across west, we can see, obviously, the Seven Kingdoms. Looks as though Harren the Black is having a bit of problems. Blackwater Rush League Independence War. So Arnold Fawn. Looks like the Fawns are leading this charge for independence. But that has been a good win for us. I'm very happy with that win. Now, who do we attack next? Another city has been conquered. Who shall submit to the Emperor of Valyria next? Maya, Tyrosh, Bravos, or Lys? I guess Maya or Bravos would be the next two possible choices. And now I've seen the power of the dragons. I don't see how anyone could stop us. Bravos is a bit more powerful. How about we go for Maya then? Yeah, we'll go for these guys. Then we'll go for Bravos and last, Volantis. Maya will be my next target. Nuvla is in a state of war, so with the Mega War system now, of course. And the Magister, Yorko, has decided, since he's seen the power of the dragons, he will honor his allegiance to us and walk beside the dragon instead of against us. A very good man right there. Very good man. And we might just put our men back on the boats. Head straight for Maya. Aegon is not done conquering. We are far away from finish conquering these lands. Maybe we could do even better than Aegon did. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll finally be able to get home, rebuild the empire that once was. Rather than building a new empire. Which, you know, new empires is fun as well, but, you know, we'll build our own one. Now, does he have any allies? He's brought in no allies. I'm going to walk down here just so we can get up. You know, actually, his men here are low morale. So even if we come across, we have low morale. We'll destroy them with the dragons. And here we go. Here comes the dragon. Dracarys Balerion. And there we go. Look at that. Just destroyed about 9,000 men with just his fire. Absolutely. And not even harmed. Balerion. I still can't believe how good he is. I did not expect him to be that powerful. <laughs> oh my god. Deploy your dragon in the siege. I, I like this series for one thing. Normally when I play, you might think this is kind of easy, which it is actually at the moment pretty easy, but it's different to my other series. Normally my series I've done recently, they've been starting out as very small people, very difficult situations, and trying to get bigger. But this time we're managing to start kind of a, a more fortified position. Do I need to actually get my dragon in the siege? Nah, we're not even going to bother. Not going to use my dragon in the siege. We'll win anyway. If he wants to hide in his city, it is fine. Lornells can hide in there. We'll take it soon enough, and then we'll win. But if I lose my dragon, he could get hurt. We don't want to see Balerion get hurt. I mean, obviously he's extremely powerful, but it doesn't mean he can't die. I have seen it. I have seen dragons die before. And here we go. Um, cut the irons and leave the rest here. Yep, that's all we need to do. And we've won. Perfect. So we've now defeated them. Maya is now underneath us. Another city has fallen to us. Tyrosh. I think Tyrosh will be next. Strike north for Novos. No, we won't go for Novos just yet. We'll go for Tyrosh. Okay, state of war. Let's call upon our bannerman. 
and looks as though the Maya has failed to answer the call to arms. I'm going to put our men straight on the boat, though. 25th of January. There we go. And we head straight to the capital. Ah, Empire Building. What, what could be better? Where are the rest of his men? Are they all on the ships? There's only 15 ships there. I can't seem to see many of his men. I guess we'll just head in. And here we go. Deploy Balerion. Ask the family along with us then. Doesn't look like he's here. Looks like he managed to escape. Where did he head off to? Western Blackwater Bay. So it looks as though he's already here. Why? Why is he in Western Blackwater Bay? Wait a second. They have another war. Stormlander Stockworth du jour war over Stockworth. Ah, so that's where he is. Well, I guess we'll jump on our ship and we'll go see if we can find him. 26th, okay. So we'll go see if we can find him for now. Now my ally in Pentos has joined us, so we'll remember that. Like I say, whenever I play, I like to roleplay. I remember what the people who support us do. I like to think of these people as faces, not just random people we'd forget. We'll remember this, Pentos. But I'm going to end the first episode there. We've been recording for quite a while. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this beginning of this uh, series that we're going to be doing. And I hope you guys return for next time. Good night.